Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we are looking for an alternative to uh, or looking at an alternative to an uh, application I love. This is an application that is quite similar to something like my mind uh, and it offers some of the same things and it also has a lot of AI to help you tag and organize things and today we are going to try it out and see whether or not it is at the level of my mind. This is still in beta so I am expecting that it isn't perfect but uh, we will take a look at some of the different features so let's check out data connections. Uh, so you can connect a data source and it will stay synchronized with Fabric. Get AI search across all of your data. So iOS screenshots, that is, is actually really cool. Uh, and GitHub stars, not something I would use. Um, coming soon are things like Figma, Readwise would be great. Notion would also be great. Having an application like Notion or uh, linear or uh, even general note-taking apps like more pure note-taking apps than this uh, having the ability to synchronize those into uh, an application like this would be amazing uh, local file sync email uh, web history onedrive and icloud so uh, a lot they have to work on in order for this to all of these integrations to come but a uh, readwise a figma and the notion one is the ones i would like the most uh, ios screenshots is actually really really cool now back to the application you have the ability to migrate from uh, another application i won't do that but you also have the timeline view which just gives you a timeline of everything you have written down so this is a note and here you have a uh, formatting inside of those notes. Let me just do some markdown as well to show you that it works with markdown. With markdown. So it works with markdown and the note taking. So this is a note inside of here. Here I have a screenshot which I've uploaded. Here I have a picture from my phone which I've also uploaded. You can upload your own images uh, here as well uh, by just pressing upload files and just picking a file right here and I can save it and it will appear in my today. So this is my thumbnail from yesterday uh, and it will be uploaded into my inbox. So that is how uh, uploading works inside of here and you can create spaces so similar to uh, similar to uh, my mind they are actually calling it spaces uh, inside of here as well but this application just like my mind uh, wants to wants you to use search to find what you are looking for so just to test out the search, let's see how it works with colors. It actually works with colors as well. Uh, let's do white, no matches. So not perfect because this should show up. This should actually show both of my images. Uh, let's also do uh, some web clipping uh, because that is something uh, it wants to help you do as well. Let's just try this right click and add the highlight to fabric uh, testing web clipper so you get the uh, you actually uh, get the ability to add a comment here as well let's try an image as well uh, let's call this twos because it is a screenshot of twos now let's jump back into the application and it has added both so here it captures uh, the highlight but it also captures the link so I can actually jump back into here using this link um, and I can also capture uh, and it does the same for the image so you have the image here and you have the link as well you have a comments here which shows you the comment that I'm uh, that I added and it also has something called similar and I am guessing that this works uh, quite similarly to um, 
something like my mind similar feature where it actually connects things together uh, also quite similar to uh, quite similar to napkin what uh, this has that my mind does not have is actually the similar feature also for notes in my mind uh, it only works for your images it doesn't actually work for your notes so that is just something to keep in mind we also have the ability to add tags so you have some organization inside of here um, and you, you actually have a more than you have in many of the similar applications you have both spaces and you also have tags most, app most applications uh, do not actually have uh, any of those I am guessing that the AI needs some improvement let's try searching a little bit more still can't find white uh, let's see color actually let's try to search for twos so it actually can search for the comments in here. That is something to keep in mind, which makes it easier for you to find what you are looking for. Let's try and search for the article. It has the word obsidian in it. Um, so it shows this one. Does it show this one as well? It actually shows both of them. So the search inside of here is uh, quite good. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the user uh, interface and just the way the applications look the UI UX uh, leaves something to be desired compared to for example something like my mind uh, and the reason for why I'm comparing it to my mind is because it is similar to uh, things like my mind and, and raindrop I would say more uh, towards something like my mind because of the AI but I love uh, the fact that it captures things so quickly. So just by right clicking and pressing add image to fabric, it will quickly add image to fabric and uh, you can add comments if you want to, or you can just not add comments at all. Let's see if it can search for text within images. That is also something I want to check out time stripe. It actually finds this and it finds this as well uh, but I'm wondering why this shows up here let's try and search for dinner as well dinner it can actually search for um, text within images which is really cool as well so I would say that this is the best uh, application or the closest application to something like my mind i still think that my mind is looks a lot better and i will probably be sticking with my mind for a while longer but i love the fact that it has similar the similar feature for uh, notes as well you actually have to have 50 items in order for this to work but i love the fact that it exists i'm really excited about these um AI uh, or applications adding AI to help you find uh, connections between things that you otherwise would not have and AI that helps with serendipity inside of uh, your note taking app. Pricing wise they have uh, several different pricing plans uh, and uh, they have it in monthly and yearly just like every other note taking application but for the free plan you get 250 megabytes of storage space you actually don't get an AI assistant AI recap emails and data connections so you don't get any of these uh, for the basic plan so I'm guessing in order for this to make sense with the AI you actually have to pay for the basic plan 100 gigs of storage AI assistant 100 answers still a little low uh, I still think that this is a little low uh, only having 100 so it is a chatbot uh, and only having 100 uh, answers from your chatbot probably isn't worth it uh, but you get AI recap emails you get unlimited spaces and unlimited uh, items save websites offline is also really cool for things like articles um, 
for the 12.5 uh, dollar plan which is a pro plan you actually get unlimited uh, ai assistance so think of this as a blend between my mind and mem i think it is really really cool you get two terabytes of storage space which is a lot uh, and you get unlimited of everything uh, with this one you actually get four terabytes of storage space uh, but this is really really expensive this is the monthly pricing plan so i think it is quite fairly priced and this seems to be a blend between something like mem and something like my mind but it still needs to develop in order for it to get to the level of something like mem or my mind it is still in uh, beta but i love the idea of an application like this